I am Dr. Sri Ram Ramalingam, ophthalmologist, medical director, and chairman, practicing at Pradhya Netralay, Artinaga, specialized in pediatric ophthalmology, glaucoma, and cataract. Cataract is nothing but clouding of the natural human lens. Cataracts can be of various types. They can be divided depending upon the types, like congenital. Children are born with cataract. They may be because of intrauterine infections, inborn errors of metabolisms. Developmental cataract, they occur in children. They are usually stationary. They do not progress fast. Third type of cataract are traumatic cataract. Traumatic cataract, as the name suggests, because of any trauma to the eye, a person can develop a cataract following the injury. Other types are secondary cataract, secondary to any medication, long-term use of steroids can cause cataract or secondary to intraocular inflammations like uveitis. This can also lead to cataract formation in the lens. The most common type of cataract is senile cataract. Senile, as the name suggests, occurs with age. Senile cataracts are of different types. They can be divided into nuclear cataract or also called as a nuclear sclerotic cataract. As the name suggests, it affects the center part of the lens which is called the nucleus. It is called sclerotic because of the hardness of the lens. These cataracts take a very long time to progress. Initially, the person may be able to see clearly. As the nuclear cataract progresses, the distant vision becomes hazy or the person is able to see near visions clearly and will be able to read books and mobiles easily. So this is what is called as a second sight. Second type of a nuclear senile cataract is a cortical cataract. Cortical cataract, as the name suggests, occurs in the periphery of the lens. They may be initially in the form of spokes of a wheels. They can gradually coalesce and form a mature cataract. These type of cataract progress fast. Other type of cataract is what is called as a capsular cataract. They may be the anterior capsular cataract, they may be the posterior capsular cataract and a variant of the posterior capsular cataract is what is called as a polar cataract. As the name suggests, it occurs close to the capsule of the lens. It usually affects the posterior or the anterior pole of the lens. The posterior capsular cataract causes symptoms very fast. This patient may complain of glare, halos, and the vision becomes very hazy. Though the cataract may not be very dense, the posterior capsular cataract symptoms are very significant. The most common cause of posterior subcapsular cataract is because of diabetes. Uncontrolled diabetic patients can develop posterior subcapsular cataracts. A variant of this posterior subcapsular cataract is what is called as a polar cataract. This polar cataract usually affects the posterior capsule of the lens and it can lead to complication during cataract surgery.